Okay, get ready for this one because this deep dive is going to be interesting. We're talking planetary alignments and how they might actually, you know, impact the financial markets. It does make you think, right? Like what if something as massive as like the entire cosmos could affect something like the stock market? Wild. I know, right? So uh, we're looking at this YouTube video. It's called The Secret is Here, Time Series Analysis in Financial Markets by this guy, Jonathan Evans. Oh, interesting. Yeah, and it's, well a pretty unique look at how markets, um, you know, move and what could be driving those trends. What I find interesting is that he's not just, you know, gazing at the stars and making these vague predictions. He's using, like, actual time series analysis. Right. That's what caught my eye, too. It's mm. like, OK, there's some actual, like, data analysis happening here. Yeah. He's looking for correlations between, you know, how the planets are moving and how the markets are fluctuating. OK, so let's break it down for everyone listening. Essentially, Evans is saying that um, these certain planetary positions, especially the ones tied to the solstices and equinoxes, could be used to kind of like anticipate when the market's going to make a big turn. Right. And he even names four specific dates to keep an eye on. He does. March 20th, yeah. June 22nd, uh -huh. September 23rd, and then December 22nd. He doesn't just throw those dates out there either. He actually talks about these things called orb periods. Orb periods. Yeah, basically to account for like slight variations in timing, you know, because these market shifts might not happen exactly on those dates, but like within a window around them. OK, so imagine this. You've got these dates marked on your calendar yeah. and you're like tracking the market. Hmm. Would you see a pattern? And and what, what would that even mean for your investments or like even for your business? Right. It's a pretty thought provoking idea, right? I mean, from a behavioral economics perspective, the idea that um, something like events in the sky could somehow influence mass psychology. And then that somehow affects market sentiment. Exactly. It's not like completely implausible. It's like, whoa, oh, hold on a minute. Is there something to this? Yeah. And Evan seems pretty convinced, too. He says he's been using the system for years. And he even talks about like predicting some major market crashes and rallies all based on these dates. Yep. And he like points to specific examples on the Dow Jones chart and everything. Shows you, yeah, how those dates line up with some pretty big market highs and lows. It's pretty compelling visually, but, you know, correlation doesn't necessarily equal causation. Right, right. Like we have to look at, you know, are these alignments actually predictive or just coincidental? It could be confirmation bias, right? Like maybe he's only focusing on the times where his theory works and kind of ignoring the times it doesn't. Exactly. That's a really good point. We got to be careful about jumping to conclusions here. Mm -hmm. But I mean, come on. The possibility that there could be something to this is like crazy interesting. Oh, for sure. It challenges everything we think we know about how markets work. Right. It's like a whole new way of looking at things. Absolutely. Whether or not he's onto something totally groundbreaking, I mean, he's definitely making us think outside the box. For sure. Yeah. And you know what? Evans doesn't stop at just the stock market. Oh, really? Yeah. He takes this theory and says that these planetary cycles can actually impact like all sorts of human behavior. Like what? Like yeah. everything from business decisions to get this, even travel delays and how many customers he gets in his own cafes. Wow. So he's talking about like mass consciousness. Yeah. Like these cycles somehow affect our moods and energy levels, even our decision making. Huh. That's fascinating. It kind of ties into all these different fields like sociology, psychology, even astrology, right? Right. And to illustrate this whole thing, he tells this story, this really interesting story about a colleague of his who refuses to fly on those specific dates. Because? Because he's convinced there are way more delays and disruptions on those days. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Even if it's just like a perception, it still makes you think, right? Like we're always trying to find patterns, trying to make sense of the world around us. Totally, whether those patterns are like real or not. Exactly. And that's what makes this whole thing so intriguing. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. And, you know, Evans doesn't just like stop there. He actually makes some pretty bold predictions about the market, too. Mm -hmm. Like he's saying we're heading into a major bull market. Yeah. He says it's going to last all the way through 2026. Right. Based on what he calls this 18-year uh, cycle. Yeah, the 18-year cycle. That's a big part of his whole theory. Which is really interesting, right? Because... Like, market cycles are definitely a real thing. Oh, yeah, for sure. But uh, actually predicting how long they're going to last or, you know, which way they're going to go, that's, like, notoriously difficult. It's like trying to predict the weather. Right. Sometimes you get it right. Sometimes you're way off. Exactly. And, you know, Evan's prediction is based on, like, his whole interpretation of these planetary cycles. Right. But we got to remember that. Like, 
stuff happens, yep. things we can't predict. Oh, yeah, like all the time. You know, economic shifts, geopolitical events, all that can throw a wrench in the works. No matter how good your model is, you can't perfectly predict the future, especially when it comes to something as complex as the market. That's a really good point. And to be fair to Evans, he does kind of acknowledge that. Oh, does he? Yeah, like he doesn't say things like, the market will definitely change direction. All right. He's more like, it may change direction. That's smart. And when his predictions don't pan out, he often blames it on like unexpected news events, you know? That makes sense. It's like, okay, there's the model, but then there's also reality. Exactly. Yeah. And one other thing I noticed, he's not just like this detached observer, you yeah. know? He's really into this stuff. Oh, yeah. Like, he's super passionate about sharing what he's learned. He's like a teacher. He is. He even has his own school, the International School of Forecasting. That's awesome. He's going all in on this. He is. And in the video, he talks about this eight-part miniseries he's doing. Oh, what's that about? He says he's going to reveal even more of his, like, secret formulas for predicting the market. Using the planets. Using the planets, yeah. It's definitely tempting, especially if you're, like, looking for an edge in the market. I can see why people would be interested, but, you know, it's always good to be a little skeptical. For sure. We're not saying you should believe everything he says yeah. or that you should, like, run out and invest based on his predictions. We're just exploring his ideas, seeing what's there, and letting you, the listener, decide what you think. Exactly. Whether you buy into the whole planetary influence thing or not, Jonathan Evans is making us think about the market in a totally different way. He is. And, you know, that's what's so cool about this whole thing. Whether he's right or wrong, he's asking some really interesting questions. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, like, what are the big takeaways here? What do we want people to walk away with after this deep dive? Well, first of all, I think we got to give Jonathan Evans some credit, right? Oh, totally. He's not afraid to challenge the status quo, to explore these ideas that, like, most people wouldn't even touch. Right. He's going where a lot of people wouldn't even dare to go. Right. And that takes guts. Whether or not you agree with him, he's making us question our assumptions about how the markets work. And I think it's also a reminder that markets aren't always rational, you know? They're driven by human emotions. Exactly. Fear, greed, hope, all that stuff. And those emotions, who knows? Maybe they are influenced by these larger cycles, these cosmic events. Right. Maybe there's something there that we're just starting to understand. It's a possibility. Mm. And what if even like a, a small part of Evans' theory is true? What if understanding these cycles, even subconsciously, could actually give investors an edge? It'd be huge, right? A whole new way of looking at the market. It would. And, you know, let's say someone listening is really intrigued by all of this. Where would you tell them to go to learn more? Well, Evans makes it pretty clear in his video. Yeah. He says, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out my International School of Forecasting. Makes sense. He's put a lot of work into building that platform. Yeah. And he obviously wants to share what he's learned. And for someone who's really curious, it could be worth it, right? Yeah. I mean, even if you don't end up like a true believer, engaging with his work is going to get you thinking. It'll make you question things, look at the market from a different angle. And who knows, maybe you'll even discover your own secret to market success along the way. That's the beauty of it, right? The exploration itself, even if you don't end up using planetary alignments to pick stocks. It's all about expanding your horizons, challenging your assumptions. Exactly. And I think that's what Jonathan Evans is all about. So is Jonathan Evans like some kind of financial Nostradamus? Or is this all just like a big coincidence? That's the big question, right? I mean, it's easy to say, oh, this is out there, but there's something about the way he puts it all together. He makes you think, for sure, even if you don't buy the whole planets control the market thing. Right. He makes you think about what else could be going on. Yeah, like, what about market psychology? What really drives those big swings, you know, the stuff that seems to come out of nowhere? And some of the most, like, groundbreaking discoveries, they sounded crazy at first. What if Evans is on to something, even if it's just a piece of the puzzle? Imagine, right? Like, what if understanding those cycles, even if we're not totally aware of it, could give investors an edge? It's a cool thought, for sure. But let's say someone's listening, they're like, okay, I'm intrigued. Where do I go from here? Well, Evans kind of lays it out in the video. He does. Yeah, he's like, subscribe to my channel, Check out my International School of Forecasting. Smart move. He's got his platform. He wants people to see what he's doing. Exactly. And if you're really curious, it could be worth checking out, right? For sure. You might not become a full-on believer, but it's going to get you thinking. Exactly. Yeah. And then who knows, maybe you'll even find your own secret formula for market success. 
The exploration is half the fun, isn't it? Even <laughs> if you never use like a single planetary alignment to pick stocks. Totally. It's all about keeping your mind open, learning new things. And I think that's what this deep dive has been all about, right? Absolutely. It's been a wild ride for sure. So to everyone listening, stay curious, keep exploring, and hey, maybe even keep an eye on those solstices and equinoxes, you know? You never know what you might find. And until next time, keep on diving deep.